In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to install shaders for Roblox. But before we get into this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join the Discord server, a link down below. So first thing you want to do is open a new tab in whatever web browser you're using, and type in roshade.com. So this will be in the link down below, or you can just type it into your browser, and then this will pop up. So this is the website. If it doesn't look like this, or if the address is not roshade.com, then you're on the wrong website. So when you're here, there will just be a big download button right here. You'll click on that, and you want to click on the free one, unless you do want to pay $2.99 per month. But I have no idea why would you want to. So just press on the free download. Um, ignore. And then you gotta agree to the license. And then uh, there will be some other stuff that pops up, like don't download this. But then once this advertisement is done, there will be a skip button up here. Uh, so just wait for that to pop up. And then this M cloud will pop up. This is what you want to be on. So this is the correct thing. At the bottom, it should say Rose Shade Setup right over here. And then all you have to do is just press download. And it is now downloading it right now. And then you wanna press save to your desktop. And if you are using a uh, Safari or something like that, it's gonna be somewhere up here, wherever your downloads appear. Uh, so then once you have that, you wanna double click on it or open it however you would like to. Um, and then this menu will pop up. Get started with shaders in a Roblox. And you just wanna press install. Um, and then you can change this to whatever you guys want. Um, but the key to toggle shaders on and off, I'm gonna go with F8. And then to open or close the panel to change settings is F7. So then you'll just press next and then uh, I would recommend selecting all of these if there's some that you just don't want then you can unselect them but these are all the free ones that you get so you get glossy very glossy row shade high row shade low and row shade medium and then you also get green screen which is pretty useful and then you just want to press install and then now it is installing it so everything is installing right now then you want to press next and then now you are done. So you can just press cancel and you can now join a Roblox game and see how these shaders work. So if I do click on a Roblox game, I'm gonna go with ERLC. So once you are into the game, this menu will pop up right here, which is loading the shaders. So now that these shaders are loaded in, once we load into the game, we can press F8 to enable the shaders. So right here, you can press F8 and it's a small change, but it's enabled right now. And if you wanna change that, then you could press F7. So F7 will bring up this menu, and really, if you want to, you can get more in depth with these, but really, all that you need to focus on is this at the top. There will be this little drag bar up here at the top. It should say glossy whenever you first do it, and then if you pull it down, there are other ones like glossy, green screen, rose shade high, rose shade low, rose shade medium, and very glossy. So we'll go with rose shade high, because this one has a big difference. So once this is here, then you can see, if you press F7 again to close the menu, this makes a big difference. So you can see all the lights from the buildings, they're like all like glowing and everything. It just looks very nice and this improves the quality of your game by a lot. So everything looks a lot nicer. And then there's also a menu called Very Glossy. Uh, so this is, as you would expect, very glossy if you do select it. So if we do see this here, then we can see everything is very glossy. So yeah, uh, just mess around with these settings, use them how you want to. But I would recommend just using, if you are just like playing around, uh, like just playing a game on Roblox, I would just recommend row shade low, because otherwise it will kind of make your performance bad. But if you're trying to do like cinematics or something like that, then I would de definitely recommend one of the higher settings. So that is all for this video. So be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.